But this is the Platinum Connectors that I use. Now, Platinum Tools is a company. Platinum Connector is a very nicely named uh, near near brand, let's say. <laughs> uh, but that is what we're going to use today. Now, Klein Tools, which is going to be shown a lot, also makes their own pass-through connectors. So if you want to get the Klein Tools crimpers, which I have in there, and the Platinum uh, pass-through connectors, both are great. Both are going to work really well. And one of the things that I love about these pass-throughs, I'm going to show it to you in a second, is that there's no more fighting with the end. So a couple things that you may need for that. A good set of crimpers, cutters, and strippers. Now, this just happens to be from Klein, and it's the highest quality they make. I was really excited to pick this up because I've been using a set of crimpers in my bag that are from a competitor. <laughs> and they're your traditional ones. You know, and they're a cutting crimper. The way you can tell immediately that these are cutting crimpers is they'll have a little blade there on the end. So these ones have a trim blade. That one has a blade. Some of them will even come with spare blades um, because those will wear out over time. But this one can cut a cable. It has a stripping area there, a jacket stripper. But I've actually been switching over to this. It's honestly a lot easier on the hands and a lot easier to work with. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick an unboxing of that. So this is their pass-through modular crimper. Now there's several different versions of this. There's one that only does ethernet. So you can see this device here. So that's the RJ45 ethernet side. If you need to do business phone systems, they're still out there, <laughs> sadly. I've done a few recently. Uh, there's a six wire version of RJ11 and that's their spec there. Now there's two different wiring specs. I'm just gonna pull this up real quick just so you can see the pinouts. So this is from Tech Mentor. Thank you guys for having this on here. This is the color coding here. Now, if you forget the color coding, it honestly is printed on the tool here. The B standard, I'm not gonna rattle off all the letters, but the B standard is what we use in most cases. And most network switches, including the ones here from Sedola today, are actually able to switch back and forth. So whether you have a crossover cable, they call it, or you have a straight through cable, you can switch back and forth. So this is a tool we're using today. I'm going to go ahead and show you how we cut that cable and put that end on real quick here. So um, this is the crimping action. You'll notice that it's ratcheting. So if I put it down a little bit, it locks, locks again, locks again. And then when it's all the way down, it opens back up. If you do get halfway down your cable and you go, oh, no, I want a little bit more cable. There is an override feature right here. So you get crimping and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm halfway down this cable. I need to undo it. You just twist this and it will let you open it. Same thing on the other, the more economical uh, <laughs> crimpers, but you have to put your hand in and, and you know, push the lever back. This one has just an override twist screw that you can do that. So let's talk about what we would do to, to cut and you know get this cable. So I'm going to go through and just cut it off using this tool as well. So I put it in deep into the jaws here and I'm able to cut off just the end. So, you know, if you've been running this through walls, it's probably all beat up and banged up. You're going to want to run this through the cutter and clean off any of those ends. So you start with a clean end at least. You can strip as much or as little as you want. With Cat6, I like to strip a little bit more because the, the wires are usually stiffer. You've got that center divider in there. And that's what it's going to look like as soon as you cut it. So it's going to look something like that. So yeah, there's the cable right there. Now you can just loosely separate out the ends. One of the things I really like to do, so I'm running down here. Okay, so that's open. And then I'm gonna use just a pair of scissors that I have going through here. I'm gonna cut that center piece as, and that um, just extra string that you'll see in there. Most of them have a string like that. Okay, so now I've got these, but they have a pretty significant twist to them. So now I've taken and I've relaxed the, the ends a little bit here. And if I bring that uh, di diagram back up on the side here, what I'm going to try to do is make it match the diagram. And that diagram is kind of interesting because it's actually looking from the bottom side. That's the view you're going to get. So we've got that. And when I say bottom and top, there's on the, the pass-through connectors we're looking at, there's the clip side, and then there's the bottom side. So I always try to hold it 
can get the hands right like this and then I can put the wires in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow that guide now I just memorize it so orange and white orange green and white blue blue and white green brown and white brown so I'm just lining them up and kind of flexing them a little just to make sure and I'm taking my sweet time here for you guys um, to get the best shielding you want to make sure that it's as tight as possible down here on the end so make sure you kind of relax it all the way through so I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna cut those clean off now this is normally with the cheaper pairs of ends that don't have the pass-through capability this is normally where you stop you put this on whatever amount of stick out is there is what you're left with and you don't get the highest quality the other thing I really like to see and you probably can't see it is got really nice copper clean cut ends on there so that cutting tool does a great job now like I said that would be normally where you'd stop you'd push this in and it would stop but now with these pass-throughs I can push through and we're seeing all the way through that cable so this cables coming all the way through and I like to push it as far as you can get that jacket all the way up in there so it looks something like that and that's perfect exactly what we're looking for now what I can do is take these crimpers and again there's the the cutters we're looking at the RJ 45 cutters there that has my color code on it too it's got the B standard now what's funny is you're looking at it and you're like why is orange on the right side well they've actually color coded it for whatever you're looking at so if you're looking at the back side of the cable it would be this if you're looking at the front it would be that so it's kind of a cool idea I was wondering about that and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pass it through now you can see all those ends sticking out right and then I'm just gonna push down and that is a perfectly made network cable so they cut right off at the ends they're crimped down so all those little gold contacts that come with this are pushed in and now I have my own custom I think this is going to be six and a half ish feet <laughs> of a network patch cable